What's up guys, welcome to the tutorial. I'm Daniel Hale and today we're gonna talk about sleeve collar setting up the omoplata. We're gonna do this in a whole series, so there's gonna be four videos. Setting up the omoplata from sleeve collar, playing open guard, and then I'm gonna show you three different finish options using the omoplata, okay? It's one of my favorite things to do because it helps you slow people down it helps you really control somebody and you have a high percentage finish rate if you understand how to use it, okay? So let's dive right into this series. I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna start with setting up the omoplata. Okay guys, so the first thing, when understanding how to play sleeve collar, let's understand the grip on the sleeve first, okay? A lot of times, what I like to do when I'm playing this, Cody's gonna go warrior stance with this leg forward, this leg back, okay? My left foot is gonna step right on top of his shoulder or his bicep, okay? I don't wanna step on his hip right now because it's easier for him to push down and step in between my legs, okay? So when I'm here, I'm stepping my foot right on his shoulder and it also controls him so it's harder for him to drop his weight on me, okay? So now, I'm gonna take my hand and on this grip, what I wanna do, I wanna fold over the gi so I have a nice pocket for my fingers so I can hook. I don't wanna be like this, holding it, where I'm squeezing and I'm gonna tire out my arm, okay? I just want a nice grip right here with my hook so that I can control and follow his arm around, okay? Now, with my left hand, when we're grabbing the collar, I wanna make sure I go as high up as I can, almost behind his neck or behind his neck if I can. If I'm like this, too close, right here, it's not, I can't pull him down as much, and if he does reach up, it's a lot easier for him to snap the grip off with his hands, okay? So when I'm here, I'm grabbing up nice and high, I'm taking a grip behind it, and I'm twisting the collar just a little bit so I have a nice handle, okay? So my grip, I'm holding the handle right here, and now I'm using my left foot to make sure that he can't reach across, grab my wrist, and what I wanna do, I wanna follow it with my heel, keeping control of this arm. My left leg is monitoring his arm the whole time, okay? Now, here, what I wanna do, I wanna capture the elbow space right here with my shin, okay? So if I'm controlling on the bicep, I'm stepping right here, playing De La Riva, maybe I have lasso. What I wanna do is, when I kick and I break this grip off my pants, I turn my body a little bit, I kick and pull with my knee towards him, like this. I can go outside, circling my elbow, kicking and pulling, but the problem is he can close his elbow now. Now I have to go to lasso and I miss the omoplata situation, okay? But when he's here, I turn, I kick and pull, I put my foot right behind Cody's shoulder, okay? Now, if he tries to close his elbow, my shin is in the way, okay? I've also got my hips out to the side a little bit and my knees are a little bit more closed just so he can't try and jump on my foot anything like that and control here, okay? I'm not stepping straight like this. It's harder for me to shoot the omoplata. I've moved myself to the side. My foot is here, okay? Now, I'm controlling the wrist still. I'm also pulling, and now I pull on the collar. I push my foot, straighten my leg until my knee goes all the way in, and then I hit his elbow with my knee, and I close this gap. So what I'm doing is, I'm putting his sleeve in my pocket, with the grain of my knuckles pressing this way. I have good control on his collar. I've stepped on Cody's back, and you can see my knee is turning downwards on his shoulder blade and trapping his elbow, okay? This makes it a lot harder for Cody to rip out his arm. Now, I'm gonna use my foot to square my hips up, lock my leg through, and I triangle my legs, okay? Now, here in this scenario, I'm gonna walk my foot toes to the sky on both legs and I use my calf to keep his head clamped down to the mat, okay? Now, I still have my sleeve grip that I put inside the pocket. I'm gonna let go with my right hand and I trap his elbow and I close right here just like I would hold a football, okay? Now I'm holding, controlling, and I'm not gonna let go of this sleeve, all right? So here, Cody's not gonna do it, but if he rolls out, I can come on top, okay? If he tries to posture really high, I never let go of this collar grip right here because it's super controlling and it's harder for him to rip his arm out. I am also can take my time 
just to get Cody a little bit more tired so I can start breaking him down, going for the sweep and the submission, okay? So Cody's gonna try to stand. I keep these grips, he keeps standing up, and you can see it's easy for me to hold on to this grip with my legs locked and keep his head down. And now I'm just gonna keep monitoring, controlling him, and breaking his posture, okay? So the rollout we covered, we can come on top. The posture we covered, we keep right here, hold the elbow, never let go of the collar, head down, okay? The other one, common situation we have a problem with, people always trying to put their knee on top of the ribs, okay? This I defend with my hand in the air, right by his hip right here. Controlling, not letting him step over, okay? Then, if Cody tries to keep circling towards me, I can block it, now I grab the belt, and now he's brought himself to me more so I can stretch my legs out, sit up, and post my hand, okay? So when I'm doing that, it's super controlling. I like to use this in open guard against bigger people because it's a good way to sweep them and submit, and it's a good way to just control them and let them get a little bit tired. And if they do escape, because you're holding onto that collar and the arm the whole time, their arm's gonna be shot, okay? It's gonna be really tired. So let's look at this a couple more times. Sleeve collar, Cody grabs my pants, hip out, break, hook behind the ribs, okay? If I ever wanna make him look the other way or if he's trying to drop his weight on me, I put my knuckles in the neck, I turn his face to look this way, stretch, step on the back, lock the omoplata. Let's go this way. Hip out. Hit the pull, hook, stretch, step on the back, lock the omoplata. Hip out, break the grip, Just hook my foot, step, omoplata. All right guys, I hope that helped. One of my favorite setups, attacking the Oma Plata in the next series now. I'm gonna show you guys how we finish it. So, see you guys in the next series.